Hey, my friends, welcome to our musky segment. I'm just putting the finishing touches on a new bait here. It's a prototype of a lure that you're going to be able to buy in the stores by the time you watch this. You know, the 700, original 700 Booker tail is probably the most copied bucktail in the in the industry over the last 20 years. And uh, it's been, it was always made out of natural bucktail. But because of the new popularity in tinsel, uh, we decided to offer this in, in a tinsel version. So here's the first original 700 Booker tail in tinsel. Cabbage. Definitely cabbage. The spot here looks good. There's cabbage way out on the tip of that. Past, way past where I even cast it there. Bulging it through. There's a little bit, there's another patch just a little further out. <clears throat> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, got him, got him, got him. Hoo, 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 hoo. Oh, what a powerful fish. Wow. Just a power maniac. Wow. Get away from there. You want that trolling motor, don't you? Huh? You sure do. You are a bad dude. <laughs> Looking for new spots, my friend. That's what this, this segment's all about. Never fished this spot before. Out scouting the lake. And uh, just found one. Find a good spot that nobody else is working. Sometimes that makes a difference, folks. When you're, when you're fishing an area, if you've got a big body of water, your fishing area's got a lot of fishing pressure, one of the best things you can do, even though the body of water and the areas you love to fish, you have this thing about you have to fish those spots because you know them. If you can discipline yourself to leave those spots and start looking, you know, searching a little further out away from the crowds, same thing with big bucks, it's the same thing. You know, get a little bit further back in the woods, sometimes it makes a difference. It makes a difference on muskies too. The difference is this. <clears throat> the difference is these fish haven't been thrown at by four, five, six, seven, eight guys all day long. And when you find these fish that haven't been thrown at, they bite instead of follow, at least sometimes. <clears throat> Another thing, folks, is that's the very first muskie I've ever caught on my new seven, original 700 Booker tail in tinsel. You know, we're making these tinsel, these tinsel baits now, and tinsel's become popular. We're making them spinner baits and, and big monster bucktails. But why not put it on the original 700 Booker tail? And that's exactly what I just did. Let's take a look at him real quick. He's not going to be a happy camper when I lift him out of here because he's really settled down nice and. Everybody's been leaving him alone. Let's get a couple of mitts on here so I can get a hold of that fish and I don't get hurt. What I generally do is take a couple of plumber's gloves. These are just heavy neoprene dipped gloves and cut the sleeves out of them so they're easier to get on and off and they'll dry out quicker. Put those on and you won't get chewed up. In fact, if you look, see I got a band-aid there? That's from a muskie I just caught a little while ago. <laughs> which is on another segment that hopefully you've had a chance to see or maybe you will see in the next couple weeks. Oh boy, that's a nice looking fish. Oh yeah, good looking fish. Yeah. What do you think, my friends, huh? That's what it's all about right there. Now take it easy. Take it easy. Yeah. Whew. Tinsel tails and new spots. 
when you got the crowds, get away from the crowds, start, you know, get a little adventurous. And as you can see, sometimes getting a little adventurous, it pays off. <laughs> Sure do. You are a bad dude. 